I'm here in Berlin at Water Coolers Europe's 20th birthday celebrations and I'm here with Roland Bankson who is often described as the founding father of IBWA Europe uh, which was some 20 years ago. Roland, what are the biggest changes you've seen in the industry during that 20 years? The concentration of the business going from entrepreneurs with a lot of them all over Europe to being big companies covering more or less uh, all different countries and uh, that's also one of the reasons as I see it that we don't have that many participants today in the, in the show as we had in the old days. Okay and what has surprised you most during the, all the changes of the last 20 years? What, what are the things that you've thought were most uh, extraordinary and what do you think the opportunities were that were missed along the way? Well, that was a difficult to question. Um, I think uh, what, what surprised me was that the industry was so affected by uh, the financial setback that mm -hmm. we had a couple of years uh, and that we didn't recover. Still, you, you could see today from the presentation of CNE that uh, there are countries where you have a negative development. And th that surprised me most. Um, what I think we should have done earlier is to open up conversation with point of use people uh, and to join forces with them. Because had I, if I had been uh, in the industry still, I had definitely uh, start to work with point of use as well. Because it, it's a complementary part of the water industry. Sure, and we've seen coffee become increasingly important as well. Do, do you think there's a, a change to go more towards a vending concept within the industry overall? What's your view on, on the next steps? Yeah, I think you will see that. Uh, use the possibility of giving fast service. Uh, we have the distribution system built up and uh, that is something we should use. And uh, coffee is very close to it, sir. And uh, the, the thing is, I'm also involved in the coffee, coffee, coffee company today. <laughs> OK. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. And what about hydration? Because for, for many years, these events were focused on the technology, on the machines themselves. And I know there's a real mood shift now towards talking about end-user benefits. What more do you think can be done about promoting the, the health benefits of, of this industry? Well, I think we have to do more. Uh, this is the important part today and if you compare with 20-25 years ago uh, we were all young companies, smaller companies who tried to learn the technique. We, we didn't know anything about it and also uh, the suppliers to us were not educated enough to educate us. But today we have huge organizations who take care of it, who have specialists in their companies and their first issue should be to promote uh, the benefit of drinking more water. And uh, we are not going towards the tap water industry, that, that, that's a different story. We are selling a product that has benefits of its own. Sure. And What's next for the water cooler industry in your view? You're involved in coffee, you've been in water, you've been in small pack, you've been in, in water coolers for many, many years. What's your predictions for the next 20 years? Oh, the need for high quality water will always be there. And uh, we also discussed earlier today what the pipes in Europe are like mm. today. Mm. And the quality of the tap water might be questionable. So I think that uh, the future is there. Well, I look forward to seeing you in another 20 years and we can talk about how, how accurate that is. Roland, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you.